Good morning, everyone. In the car with Kelvin. We're currently going to Ipsy Studio so I can film some stuff. Really exciting. I'm gonna try to film the um, I feel like Pacifica top. It's actually 16 now because there's a tie um, between like one of the like people who moved on. So it's top 16. So very very exciting. But yeah, so going to Ipsy. I'm so coming. tired. Yeah, it's, it's really early for him. Um, Crying tears of sadness <laughs> and yawning. But yeah, I don't have any makeup on, my hair is done though, we're getting ready to film. It's gonna be some good stuff. Good stuff? Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> um But yeah, how do you like living in your new apartment? All the furniture I mean, constructed. It's like halfway complete. My room is like halfway complete in terms of pieces of furniture. I still need like all my storage stuff, but once that gets there. there. So far I like how the take shape though. not moving anymore yeah so now we're in traffic um life sucks we're gonna be like 10 minutes late so we have 10 less minutes of studio time now because of traffic I hate traffic i'm tired i don't know what to talk about today you pick a topic um pick a driving vlog topic today driving vlog topic um how do you feel about giraffes Really? They're not like my favorite savanna animal. What's your What's your favorite cheetah? Cheetah. Ah, oh, okay, cheetah. okay. I like right. the cheetah. So right. pretty, so majestic, so fast. See, like imagine if humans were giraffes though, because giraffes like, like, they generally only eat like stuff above them, right? That's like, I know they can like tilt their necks down. That's painful, isn't it? I mean, I've definitely seen pictures of them yeah. with their necks like. Yeah. <laughs> like in the ground. But like they generally like eat like Things above are like, them. Yeah, their eye level are a little higher. Yeah. So like imagine if like humans were giraffes. Like all restaurants have to have like little like tables that are like, like the tables here then, and they got a little but, food stand. But giraffes don't have opposable thumbs. Okay, well I'm saying if humans were like giraffes, a hypothetical so situation. So just like the here. neck? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's just say our necks are so long that our opposable thumbs don't matter. Okay. Right, so you go into a restaurant, you sit down, and now there's like a six foot platform where all your food is suspended. Well, I mean, if we were all giraffes, I don't think that buildings would be constructed because they'd have to be so freaking tall that they wouldn't be up to Alright, fine, any fine, code. fine. All like salad bars would be like in baskets on trees. You know? Yeah. Like, I, show that, to, I feel like that's a lot of work because then someone just has to put it up there for someone else to eat, you know? I feel like. Yeah, but that like. That's like normal giraffe fare. Damn it, we're stuck in this stupid lane. Right? We're stuck in this lane. Am I like not right for thinking that? I'm pretty sure that would be the case. Damn it, there's so many people I can't get it. Like if it fell, if you like your food fell off of the basket. <gasps> yeah, I got out of the lane. Alright, now I gotta continue. Scooching over. Like what would you do? Uh you'd have to reach for it. Yeah. yeah. It's such a struggle. Yeah. Can you imagine that if like humans only had like a certain range of like height where we could eat things? Yeah, that's so. They're really pretty though. I've never touched a giraffe, but I imagine them to be soft. Alright. Is right. that true? I wonder if that's true. We should look I that think up. their hair is pretty rough. But like they look so pretty and they look so like soft with little spots. Yeah. Especially Melman. Melvin in um Madagascar. It's like pretty soft <laughs> Thank you for your amazing scientific insight. <laughs> yeah. I love Madagascar. Melvin is 
the ish. Wait, what was it? What's who's your favorite king? King, no, he's not my favorite, but King Julian is like amazing. My favorite is Skipper. <laughs> Wait, Skipper, how did how did your how did your Kowalski, and then private? How did your uh, Vegas friend say that again? King Julian. <laughs> yeah, King Julian. That's my favorite movie of all time, Madagascar. That is like a work of art, that is a masterpiece. Bless DreamWorks. <laughs> I've only seen the first one, I think. Alright, uh, so, movie night tonight? Um, you mean unpacking the rest of Cindy's stuff tonight? While watching Madagascar? Dude, I love, like, Wait. I love private. And I love Skipper and I love Kowalski and I love Rico so much. The movie was great. I loved it. Penguins of Madagascar. Or the movie. There's rumors that King Julian's getting his own movie, which I'm very excited for if that happens. <laughs> you think so... I'm joking, but I'm so serious. I no, love I know. I'm not I love laughing Madagascar I think, so I think much. It's, I think it's so cute when you're like, King Julian, King Julian, Skipper, Kowalski. We go private. Okay, here's something I have a problem with. So if you all know, like Nickelodeon did like a spin-off series. They gave like the penguins their own TV show. But the directors and producers of that need to be banished from like making TV shows or film ever again because they screwed up everything. Like they didn't use the same animation for the movies. They made Rico like so savage. Like the, they, the way they just changed all the characters, changed the animation, changed the personalities was very disheartening to true fans like myself. So shame on you. And thank God that TV show was canceled because I'm telling you it was like an embarrassment on like the penguins. So thank God the movies still hold true to who they are. So we're here in Ipsy Studio and Kelvin is familiarizing himself with some of my makeup and uh, we're doing the boyfriend does my makeup today and then I'll do an actual tutorial after. Not to say that Kelvin's makeup look isn't going to be great. We'll see. We'll see his skills put, put to the this? test. That is a just like a finishing powder. Like a pressed powder. Is that, does that go on later? You're going to have to you have to figure it out. How do you even use this? Good lord. Oh my god, it's liquid? That is what liquid foundation is. I thought foundation was like powder. There, there are powder foundations. But yeah, so we have all this laid out. Good stuff. Oh, look, this little buddy. He's so freshly <laughs> Alright, everyone here. Fresh face and ready to film a makeup tutorial. Woo! Alright, everyone. Kelvin just got some awesome clips of me walking and doing the makeup thing for my makeup and outfit. So this is a sneak peek for y'all that's watching for the Pacifica Muse um, Top 16 Challenge. This is the makeup look I did. You'll see whole tutorial on the video about it. You have to make sure you watch it. I'll let y'all know. And this is the outfit I'm doing. But best. Best. <laughs> yeah, now we're gonna get some food because hungry. Hungry. Let's go! Hi everyone, I'm here at KBBQ now. Kelly, since he's right. really hungry, he's like, can we get KBBQ? Of course! And for the best boyfriend ever! So, look at this deliciousness. Yeah, that meat bin. But I also just want to let you know that I just posted a new Instagram photo if you all want to like that and comment like a flower emoji if you're coming from my vlogs. So, and also to shout out to some people who just liked my photos, Spencer, Bugel, but here, hold on, we gotta, we gotta vlog this. Heel Sushi 22. Shout out to these amazing peeps, Sarity Crex, Ahex, which is one of my sorority sisters, let's refresh that. So, thanks to all you who liked my photos and stuff. Be sure to follow me at infinitely underscore Cindy on Insta. Hey everyone, it's an update. It's nighttime and it's just a lot of working and editing and stuff. The Pacific Amuse video looks really good. 
Kelvin's here. Um, we're actually gonna go swing by Delta Gamma and pick up Rachel, Lauren, and Laura and Taylor. So we're gonna all gonna go to Froyo and meet up with some of Laura's friends and just have like a group bonding Froyo experience. And we get to try this new place called the Big Chill. So I'll vlog when we're there. It's Froyo. Froyo. All right, everyone. Here with Taylor. <laughs> yes. My voice is, gone. voice is still scratchy because Taylor got us all sick because we all live together. Um, but we're here at the Big Chill now. Focus camera. There we go. And there's Rachel and Laura. We're super, super excited to try this. So let's go. It's so retro in here. Look at that. Yeah, this is the big gigantic stand that everyone takes pictures with. Very exciting. Cool, cool. Good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and try this. And me and Taylor will give you our frozen yogurt critiques because. We are pros. We're experts at this. This is our life. Like, this is what we do. All right, let's go. All about food. <laughs> All right, Taylor's going to work with that. This was Snapchat. Yep, Snapchat. Look at that. So I got the medium plain oh, tart. Right. I don't know why. Like the right, hold on. The focus is like. Okay, I don't know why I was orange. Anyways, okay. So I got a medium um, chill berry, which is their like original tart, which is really good. And then we got like toppings on the side. Because apparently, yeah, you get a lot of toppings if you ask for it on the side instead of like them trying to pile it on there. Okay, I can't get this out. This is so funny. Yeah, look, <laughs> Rachel just has like a side of cookie dough with um, her froyo. Taylor has, what did she get? I got cookie dough flavored, famous sprinkles, and chocolate for cookie dough. So, Yum. This is all on the side. Amazing. Not even this is just, one. yep, this is just toppings. So yeah, I have my fruit. Let's try this, and I'll give you my opinion of it. <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as creamy as other places. It's aficionado right here. But it, but it has a stronger yogurt flavor. Like it has a very strong yogurt flavor, if that makes sense. Uh, it's good. It's good. Yeah, really, really yogurty. No. Yeah. Um, all right, and then we have Laura and all of her new friends. We've been having all this amazing froyo. Wait, babe, how do you like your shake? You got a milkshake at a froyo place. <laughs> it's not, it's not a, it's not a bowl of cookie dough. I'm gonna admit that. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Alright everyone, so we basically finished, we're having some great conversations, but basically I realized it's really like yogurty and in the sense that it doesn't take, taste milky but tastes like Greek yogurt in a way, and it's not very sweet, but we're having a lot of really good conversations right now, so I'll vlog later.